Can you believe that we are already approaching April? Okay, this year is just really flying by. So this video is going to be the astrology report and zodiac messages for the week of March 28th. As always, you can book a private reading with me at my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com. And also check out my Facebook groups, Tarot Astrology and Manifesting, as well as Gifted Psychics, Mediums, and Other Readers. And check me out on my business page, facebook.com slash astrology. Everybody have a great week and enjoy this video. Welcome to the Zodiac Messages for the week of March 28th. And we are getting started with Aries. This week I am using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck by Kyle Gray. Thank you, Kyle. So, Aries, this week you have the Spring card. And this is very befitting because we are entering a beautiful springtime here in the USA on the East Coast. So, this is your time this week, Aries, to set your intentions for this new zodiac year. As we know, Aries, whenever the sun is in Aries, that denotes the beginning of the zodiac calendar. So, Aries, this is your season. Go on ahead and set your intentions and watch your manifestations come into your life. Overall, this should be a great week for Aries. This is a great week to start planning your next step. That was for Aries. And we're moving on to Taurus. Taurus. You have the protection guardian this week. So this week, Taurus, you are being asked to drop any shields. Drop your shields. If you have some things that are keeping you from your goals, it could be fears. Um, it could just be outdated belief systems. You need to drop those shields, okay? Drop those shields and be more open. And um, be more open and aware of other possibilities around you. That was for Taurus. Moving on to Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, this week you are being reminded that you are not alone. If we have some Geminis out there, who, because a lot of Geminis love to talk. They love to be around people. So some Geminis this week might feel like because they are not surrounded by a bunch of people, they might feel a little bit lonely. But this week, the universe is reminding you that you are not alone. You have a guardian angel who is always with you. Um, so you just need to remember this week, Gemini, that you are not alone. Okay, moving on to Cancer. Ooh, Cancer. You have the Lady card. So this week is going to be a great week for you. You're going to feel like you are very um, abundant. You might feel extra sensual this week. If you are trying to get pregnant, this is a great time to try to conceive. Okay, so this is going to be a great week for a lot of cancers. You're going to feel very abundant and very fruitful. And you're going to feel like you are at the point in your life where you are reaping the rewards of, from your hard work. That was for cancer. Moving on to Leo.
Leo, you have the same card that Gemini just had. You are being reminded that you are not alone this week, Leo. Okay? Um, so if you find yourself feeling a little lonely this week, you are just reminded that you are, in fact, not alone. You always have your guardian angels with you. Okay, so just remember that this week. So, Leo, this should be a pretty good week for you. But if you do find yourself feeling a little bit lonely, this is the card that is reminding you that you are not alone. And some of you might receive, you might see some feathers laying on the ground. This is just a reminder that your guardian angels are watching over you. Moving on to Virgo. So Virgo, you have the Shailen Master card. This card is asking you to be graceful in your movements, in your actions. Okay, Virgo, you might just feel like completing a task and just getting it over with, just doing it haphazardly. But this week, you are being reminded, okay, don't just do everything haphazardly. Don't just do it because you know you need to do it and you just want to finish it. Take your time with it. Take your time with whatever you're working on and do it right and do it masterfully. That was for Virgo. Let's move on to Libra. Ooh, this one wants to fall out for Libra. Libra, the shapeshifter card fell out for you. So this week, you are being asked to change the way you're looking at something. Okay? You might think that you are, you have a certain position on a certain situation, like you have a certain feeling about it. But this week, you're being asked to change your position. Change the way you're looking at something this week. Okay? Because it is through transformation that your gifts will be revealed. So look at everything from all of the different angles. Be a shapeshifter and look at things from different perspectives this week. That is for Libra. Next is Scorpio. Scorpio. And again, this is the Angels and Ancestors deck that I'm using. So Scorpio, you're being asked to not really make any major decisions this week. There is some information that is forthcoming. So wait. If you are in the process of making a decision, just wait a few days because the universe is saying that there is additional information that will be revealed to you. Okay? You see the card? The card, the card that you have is the oracle card. It says wait for important information. So if you do have a pressing, very important decision to make this week, the universe is saying wait because there is additional information forthcoming. Moving on to Sagittarius. That one just fell out for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the autumn card. It is time this week. The universe is asking you to release old ways of doing things, release old thought patterns, and rest. Okay? Don't bombard your mind with all of the old things that happen, all the old situations. Release those old things and rest this week. That is for Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you have the Shield Maiden. This is a great week for you to make plans. 
and focus on how you will accomplish those plans. Okay, so Capricorn, this is a great week for planning for you. Moving on to Aquarius. And these readings are for the week of March 28th. We are going into April already. Can you believe it? Aquarius. So Aquarius, you have the snake card. It is time for you to move to a different situation or a different job or a different feeling or a different house. It is time for you to shed some old skin that you have outgrown. There's something in your life that you have outgrown. A lot of you Aquarius people, there's something in your life that you have outgrown. It could be a person, place, or thing. It is time for you to shed that out of your life, okay? There could also be someone around you who is not trustworthy this week. So keep your eyes open for that, Aquarius. And moving on to Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, this week, the universe is just asking you to be your wonderful, graceful, delightful self. You have the white switch card. The universe is asking you to be the light you want to see in the world. The universe is asking you to be an example this week. Okay, so overall, this should be a great week for Pisces. You are just being asked to do wonderful things this week. Okay, pay it forward. Set an example for the next person to follow. Okay, that is for Pisces. So those have been the Zodiac messages for the week of March 28th. And again, I have used the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck by John Gray. Next, we will get into the astrology report for this week. Okay, this is the astrology report for the week of March 28th. Can't believe April is going to be at the end of this week. This year is zooming by. Okay, so on the 28th, we have the full moon in Libra. So everybody get ready for that. Find out where Libra is located in your natal chart. Find out what house Libra is located in. And that will let you know what area of your life, you might see some manifestations, okay? Now, on the 29th, we have a conjunction. We have Mercury in a conjunction to Neptune. Mercury, the planet that deals with our thought processes, the planet of communication, is in a conjunction with the planet that helps us to dream. So you put those two together, and what do you get? You will feel that it is great for expressing ideas, especially abstract ideas around this time. Now, on the 30th, we have Venus in a sextile to Saturn. Okay, Venus, the planet of love, is going to be in a great aspect to Saturn. And this is a time where if you are in a relationship, whether it's romantic, platonic, familial, you will find that it is great to have a sit-down talk with your loved one and just air some things out. It is during this time also that you might be attracted to older people. And if you are in a romantic relationship, you will definitely notice things that need to be changed in that relationship. And you will have the, the calmness of mind and the maturity to sit down and talk with the person so that you can work things out. Okay, that is on the um, that is on the thirtieth. Now, on the thirty first, we have a Sun Saturn sextile. So, we have the Sun in a sextile to Saturn. This is a great transit for getting things done. 
okay? The sun is shining light on Saturn. Saturn wants to get everything done and Saturn wants to get it done carefully. Saturn wants to do everything in an orderly, orderly fashion. This is also a great time to make plans, to make concrete plans around this time, okay? So that is the sun in a sextile to Saturn on the 31st. Now, on the 2nd, we have... A, we, we have another sextile. We have Mercury in a sextile to Pluto. And this is an aspect that you will have a desire to solve um, complicated issues, okay? This is a very analytical aspect when mercury is in a sextile to pluto you might find that it is a great time to solve puzzles it is a great time to study psychology to study astrology anything that involves deep um deep abstract thinking okay now on the third mercury moves into aries on April 3rd. So this has been the astrology report for the week of March 28th. I am Citrine Shaka. Visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com. Everybody have a great week.